good morning everybody and welcome to the video this video i'll be essentially explaining about aws sns and lambda using serverless framework so i'm gonna cover a, a little bit of theory and then i'll dive into a demo uh, how to create this using a serverless framework but let's get started with the video um so all these are uh, material that i have uh, in my slides are directly uh, taken from their website uh, serverless they have a very nice um stuff i have taken a bits and pieces here what is a uh, sns well sns is a manage publish subscribe also known as a pub sub service from aws right the fundamental idea is to publish and subscribe is to allow communication between system that are not directly connected by having one side publish messages to a shared location called topic in sns and having the other side subscribe uh, from uh, his location right so um, essentially you want to ask a question do i have multiple people who care about the data if the answer is yes then you can opt for a pub sub model that is sns right uh, every sns topic has a set of subscription one message is published to a topic sns handles distributing it the messages to all the subscriber the subscriber can be lambda sqs you know mobile notification also called as push notifications etc etc a uh, wise uh, sns essential for serverless ecosystem because the pub sub model that sns implement is useful for creating systems and applications alerts sending emails sms push notifications and fanning information out from one system so fan out systems okay that's when you use S uh, sns the functionality is essential in serverless application for both user facing and internal notification and automation and therefore building scalable and reliable serverless system when to use sns when to use sqs sqs can only have one consumer right um if you ha have multiple consumer that one uh, then you can opt for sns right so you really have to understand the use case on when i should use sqs when to use um, an uh, nsns sqs on the other hand does a, has an internal polling lambda that polls the queue and essentially uh, you know uh, the messages is successfully pulled from the queue exactly once right on the other end sns will distribute uh, the, the message that is sent to all the uh, subscribers right there are also some limitations uh, that which is given in their serverless uh, has essentially you know given those things so as you can see when to use that when not to use that there are limitations so i would encourage you to come and read more right so there are limitations here so if you want to dive more deep please come here and understand these limitation for example couple of things i'll read the delivery rate for email messages has a upper limit of 10 messages per second if you have more than that then you can use um, amazon email service right both subscription and unsubscription transaction are limited to 100 transaction per second this is what it's mentioned on their website okay now diving into a demo very easy right uh, I, i like to make things easy right org app service nothing new here this is we are doing this since la last 11 labs now here i'm saying a function the name of the function is dispatcher this is going to call a, a lambda function that is dispatcher dot dispatch so dispatcher and then i have a dispatch function so it's going to call that hopefully makes sense right then here i'm saying i want to create an event this is going the lambda is going to be triggered based on an event so the event is going to be sns and i'm saying i want to create an sns topic right so i have to i don't have an sns if you have directly you can provide an arn but i'm saying resource resource i'm using cloud formation um, you know template or, or or syntax here so for example resource i'm going to create a resource called super topic right and this is going to be type is going to be an sns topic right and then i'm providing a topic name right you can of course provide more details like tags and stuff now coming back to your function now i'm saying arn because i need to provide an arn right so i'm using a function join here right so colon so because every sns topic starts with the word on aws sns then it's a region then it's the account id and then the the topic name right that's the format um, you know aws uh, follows right so essentially we're creating an arn um, uh, once the resources are done then you want to say sls deploy i already have that by the way the tutorial is also there on the github section so the code is there okay once you have there here then you can come here and publish messages test it out i can say test and i can say hello and i'll publish the message coming back to my lambda function if i refresh here i should see that uh, in a short uh, in short so i as you can see i have some logs here and i have a 
Not sure if I have a print statement, but as you can see, the Lambda has been invoked. Now you can go to the um, event section and grab the data and then do whatever actions you want to do after that. Um, as I said, I encourage you to come to this official website of serverless where they have more information on how to do that. You know, uh, you know, if you have other, if you want to have multiple dispatchers to a topic, you, you could do all that stuff uh, here. So they have a very nice um, tutorial here. I would leave both the links in the description. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have any more questions, list your question in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next upcoming videos. Thank you.